All right. Okay. okay. So, Cynthia, hi. Look who I'm here with, Felicia <laughs> from Sweet Georgia. We're so happy, Felicia, that you could spend some time with us talking about kind of what's new with you because you have an exciting fall coming up, right? This fall has been seriously crazy. It's yeah. It's just sort of been launch after launch after launch. And so we we relaunched our School of Sweet Georgia. We launched a fall collection. We launched a crochet collection. We just banged it. Oh, and we launched an advent calendar. <laughs> Everything happened like literally in the past three weeks, I think. So have you been sleeping? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must have a good. huge team to help you. Yeah, we do. I mean, like, we're seriously, seriously blessed with the best people. So it's yeah. been amazing. We have a team of people at the studio. Um, I think there's about 15 or 16 of us right now. So a lot of people, you know, helping with the yarn, helping with packaging, helping with shipping. It is... Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, we're very, very lucky. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do all the things that we do. Right. Yeah. And I have to share with you, I took a, a nice long time and went through your new lookbook for knitting and for crochet. And that's like a book. Yeah. So, it's a book. I mean, the work that went into that has got to be a lot, right? Like, yeah, that's I mean, just I think like that, publishing a book, really. Yeah, <laughs> you do it like three or four times a year. Oh my god! So yeah, I have to thank uh, Tabitha for that. Tabitha is our design director, so mm -hmm. she lives in Tennessee, and she collaborates with us back and forth. And we talk oh, on Slack god. every single day. We talk, you know, over email and everything like that. And yeah. she helps pull together all of the designers who send submissions for these collections. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we talk about colors. She prepares mood boards. She does all of the coordination with all the designers, mm -hmm. tech editors. Like the whole thing is. Wow. Top to bottom is a huge, huge, huge job. Well, you just did an amazing job because that's a beautiful collection Thank that you, you have. Thank you. We're, I'm so happy, too, to see that one of our um, designers from Edmonton made your collection. Yes, yes. Jolene Bettnar yes. has yes. done a sweater for you. Yes, that's, that's right. That's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of gives us one more connection to Sweet Georgia. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about your crochet collection, because yeah. I know that's a little new, right? So the crochet collection is new because in the past couple of years, every time we launch a collection, mm -hmm. it's always been knitwear, and then we get a whole bunch of emails afterwards from people who crochet, and they're like, what Where, about me? What about me? Where are the crochet patterns? And I'm like, oh, we didn't know that you were interested in crochet <laughs> patterns. So, so then last year, we started to like drip out like a few crochet patterns just to see if people were interested. Right what that was going to be like and then this year we decided just what kind of response in. you must have got great oh, response yes. then so um these are a couple of pieces from the new crochet collection oh so i wanted to show these to you because yeah. they're they're like really fun and easy ways to use a bunch of colors right like right you could use this with leftover sock yarn you could use this with you know party of five part of, this is made with two party of fives oh, mixed together fantastic so it's actually 10 colors all together but it has like a kind of a double layered effect because you can have this sort of almost has a, like a missoni sort of look yeah, to it doesn't exactly, it yeah. really like it's so pretty and then on the other side it has a totally oh. different effect oh my gosh so it's kind of like two in one is this like a double crochet or is it a special stitch could a beginner uh, do it i guess i'm wondering I think it could be done uh because it just looks like you're adding the second color and then you're just adding stitches in between oh. the stitches that have already been made okay to create that pattern we have a a new crochet class coming up right cynthia maybe this could be our project another class yeah 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 i think that oh, this, this is, is actually a great really idea genius so the the designer for this one she actually contributed two patterns to the collection because everything she submitted we were just like oh, we want to take all we got to take this one yeah. and we got to take that one yeah and there's another one here oh this is, is pretty maybe more what you think about when you think about crochet you know something that looks a little motifs, bit more motifs yeah mm -hmm. so these are flower motifs this shawl happens to be called persian tiles yeah yeah we should that's really pretty we should put it yeah yeah and this again is a party of five as well really so it doesn't have to take a lot of yarn you can do it with minis Look at these little and flowers. Especially the minis, you can have all the different colors and have the motifs change color. That's it's so kind of pretty. Good. There. That's gorgeous, Felicia. Gorgeous. Nice. I might, even, I might even be tempted to crochet. Yeah? yeah, there you go. And so this is just two patterns, but you've got so five or seven? Six patterns. Six patterns. 
My memory is terrible. <laughs> now, people, where can they get them? Can they go to... You can go to our website to get them, or you can okay. get them on Ravelry. As, like, collections, ebooks. No, or? this time we decided to make them all available individually. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. a great yeah. idea, too. In the past, too. we have done them as a big ebook collection, mm -hmm. but they're, it's, like, an, another significant amount of work. So we thought, right. yeah, let's do it this let's way. Let's do it individually. And people generally kind of resonate to one design over another anyhow, yeah, right? Absolutely. So. And I think when we... When we started, we had like a little launch promo where we did a buy two, get one free. So, oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so I, I think I saw that too. Yeah. So, tell us now a little bit about your other venture because you've got this whole learning concept that we're mm. so excited about. Yeah. So, I think that this is like every single morning I wake up and I'm so excited to spend all my time working on this new project, which is the School of Sweet Georgia. Mm -hmm. And it's not really entirely new anymore because I started. Right last May I started you know asking people about if they might be interested in something like this mm -hmm. but for a long time I feel like we have been creating a lot of educational content but it was just right. kind of going out into the blogosphere and then disappearing and so I really wanted to collect all of that back and create a resource like a solid foundational place where people could come mm -hmm. and learn all the skills about all of the five all arts. the things so like I know a lot of people are going to come to the school and they're already going to know how to knit. So I'm not going to teach knitting from the beginning. But, you know, people who know how to knit might be interested in learning how to spin, mm -hmm. might be interested in learning how to weave, might be interested in learning how to dye their own yarn. Right. So looking at the entire fiber arts from that sort of perspective and teaching people about the fundamentals of color and color theory, how color works in knitting, how color works in weaving, how mm -hmm. color works in spinning, like all of those kinds of things. I want to explore all of those topics in really, really in-depth detail. Right. So we're making video-based educational courses in fiber arts. And those are also available kind of whenever people want to view them, right? Absolutely. So they don't expire or run out or t time out? Like yeah, so basically the videos you can watch anytime. I've set up the school now as a uh, membership site. Okay. So it's kind of like Netflix. If you join Netflix every month, there's going to be new content. And then you just right. watch it and you have this subscription. So it's the same idea with the School of Sweet Georgia. So you sign up for a subscription that can either be monthly or it can be annual. Mm -hmm. And with annual, you would obviously get a discount as well. But yeah. then you just have access to all the classes and every month I'm coming out with new classes to add to the school mm -hmm. so we're starting from you know starting from the very beginning and I have a color play class I have a color mastery class which is like more in depth into the color theory mm -hmm. there's two big dyeing classes like it's probably all together it's probably about eight hours worth of dyeing content content wow um, and then That's I have a impressive. spinning course which is basically helping somebody who's never touched a wheel before, never touched fiber. Be absolute beginners. Absolute beginner. And starting to like, how do you pre-draft fiber? How does this work? You know, and then making their first hand spun yarn. Right. So, yeah. And this is something that people can do at home. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that is absolutely the reason why I started doing this school because I was being invited to go out and teach. Right. And I have two young kids at home and it's really important to me to be home and I didn't really want to always be traveling all over the place to teach workshops and bring all the gear and everything and so I feel like this way for people who also can't travel to go to those shows or conferences to take classes right I can reach people everywhere wherever they're at right yeah. so you're using you know our technology today Absolutely. to do that that's brilliant so what kind of um, um, embrace have you had from the knit and crochet community? It's been really great. It's been very, very positive. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 yeah I think that's that's what we're looking for, right? We all want to. We come to these things to learn and to experience new things. So it's great that you're being able to do that in a way that people don't have to travel. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I know. I know the feeling of you know mm -hmm. being stuck at home and can't go anywhere. But I want to learn stuff and I want to. You know, access and meet people and I want to learn new things mm -hmm. and I think that this is definitely the way to do it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much no, for spending time to, with us today. I think, uh, Cynthia, you have something that you want to show Felicia, right? Yeah, let's turn it off. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We'll do this. Oh, right. my fingers. You got them? Yeah. So, yeah, I wanted to show off my, my, half my sweet Georgia, um, yeah, yeah. 
it's, it's so beautiful. Love it. It's so nice to knit with. So what's that so scarf good. called? What's the this pattern? This is uh, this is a hat for Harriet. Done it's a Kate of... Davies design, and I think I used two skeins of um, Cashlet Place. Cashlet Place Cash in Wisteria. Wisteria. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. My very sister, lovely. my sister made me do it. Oh yeah. She's, she's <laughs> always giving me yarn, saying, "Here, knit this. <laughs> knit something." Did she mean knit this for me? No, <laughs> no, no. Just knit this for the store, or whatever. That's nice. Yeah, That's yeah. Really Try nice. this out. It does help, you know, when you're trying to sell yarn to say, <laughs> I have knit with it. Yeah, and it's beautiful. We have the most beautiful colors. Oh, thank you so much. Of thank you. Any, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh my yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks, thank Barb. You. Yeah, Bye. thanks, everybody. Bye. See you.